All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another day of dungeon diving. So uh, we are back here at the uh, dungeon of the Forsaken, and this is going to be our second run. Well, my second run, and you can see I am bringing some more heavy artillery this time. <laughs> uh, I just I, I don't I don't have any more scimitars that are partially broken, and I want to save all of my scimitars my full durability ones, uh, for when I actually get the grindstone bench done. Uh, of course, I need to get the dungeon, or the design first here in the dungeon, but, you know. Um, so, I, I'm bringing some partially broken bastard swords. They're not as high durability, but they'll get the job done. I also brought a couple halberds, just because, eh, whatever. They're so low durability that uh, I might as well use them for... The Desecrators and Forsaken and whatnot. Anyways, let's head on in. So, dungeons have been out for... Oof, I want to say... About 21 hours now? 22, maybe? Uh, they've been out for a little while. Um, what, is, what do you got here? Hell, might as well be heaven for the likes of us. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've learned, we've learned several things. Um for the uh, from all of this time and uh i would say that the most important thing that we've learned is that stutter step is not dead guys it is not dead thank god it is not dead however it is on life support <laughs> uh stutter step can be done As you can see, but uh, it's uh, it's very finicky. <laughs> it's very it's it's much more timing based now, so uh, it's it's much harder to pull off. It's it's not nearly as reliable. Before you could just you know spam the hell out of it and it worked like eighty percent of the time. Now it's like if you're just gonna try and spam the hell out of it, it's only gonna work like I don't know. 20, 20 to 25 percent of the time but uh yeah we've learned a fair bit about the dungeon now so it appears that nobody actually encountered any traps in their first foray into the dungeon or even in their second really uh so what that tells me is that we know there are going to be traps uh however the problem uh, and again, I'm I'm not I'm not good enough with uh, stutter step right now. It's it's so weird now, the way that they've changed it. Uh, I'm I'm really just not good enough to bother even trying it for the most part um, right now. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to my normal attacks. Uh, but what we've learned essentially is that the traps we know there are going to be traps because they they showed a trap icon uh, on the on the mini map. Oh, well, that's a clusterfuck of a hallway if I've ever seen one. Uh, but we know that they're going to have them because we saw it on the minimap in one of their teaser photos a while ago. The thing is, though, that nobody has seen one. So, from what we can tell, there aren't any going to be any traps on the first floor of the dungeon. However, there is a good chance that once we do get access to the lower uh, floors, which is probably going to be a while from now, I would imagine, since this was a pretty major update. Um, but yeah, since uh, we just got this, the second floor of the floor probably won't be anytime soon, but we imagine that the second floor is where we will run into traps and such, or maybe even a third floor. Um, it's, it's really hard to say, but it looks like there aren't any, uh, any, uh, traps on the first floor at the very least. Um, I've also reviewed all of the video, uh, from my first, uh, dungeon run attempt, which by the time you see this one, uh, the others will have gone up. I've already scheduled the other, uh... All the remaining videos in my first dungeon run to uh, be released later today. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, poison. Poison's a bitch in here. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty nasty. But I reviewed all of the video, and what I learned is at least in my run, and of course I did a full clear. I fully cleared the entirety of the dungeon. Um, I killed every single enemy, uh, mainly because I've heard that you know plague plague spawns and stuff can drop poison daggers. And the other enemies can drop, like, uh, design blueprints. Or, uh, well, I guess just designs or blueprints, whichever you want to call them. Uh, they're blueprints in, uh, LDOE, I guess. But, uh, yeah, the, the basic enemies can, can drop designs from what I've seen. Ooh. There be one of the, uh, one of the guys over there. So, I'm going to go ahead and use bandages to deal with this guy, because they actually heal instantly, and healing instantly actually helps in this case. There we go. I'm not really a big fan of instant heals most of the time, but yeah, in this, in this particular case... <laughs> It is, uh, it's, it's helpful. So, uh, but yeah, I've gone over the, uh, the numbers, and for the entirety of the dungeon, I killed 159 enemies, guys. <laughs> uh, and of the 159 enemies, like, 71 of them were possessed. Now, I'm guessing those numbers will change slightly. But the overall number, 159, I'm sure that's a pretty good ballpark for the number of enemies that are actually in the dungeon. So it's probably going to be, you know, somewhere between 150 and 170 enemies every single time. Um, now that doesn't necessarily mean you have to kill all of those enemies. Ooh, there's another Forsaken. Well, let's, uh, let's do this again. Hopefully that isn't a possessed over there, because I would like to be able to sneak attack this guy. Yes, excellent. That, however, is a possessed. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. You hurt, friendo. You hurt. Let me switch to my other stuff real quick. Yeah, he took out my leggings already. That sucks. Oh well. <laughs> I brought a little more armor this time, but it's it's just it's not really a big deal. I could still do it with just tops and bottoms, but eh, this works out. We've also learned that uh, these chests, while for the most part I said that they really weren't worth it in uh, in the first video. Uh, what we've actually learned is that while for the most part the loot in them kind of sucks, every single one of these chests does have a rare chance to drop some of the rare loot that you can get in the main the main uh, loot cache. Mainly like durable weapons, tier five armor. Uh, I don't I don't know if the I think the unique weapons can drop in here. I think somebody said that they got a poison dagger out of this. Oh, another journal of Gerard Eisenhorn. Cool. Uh, but yeah, they, they do have a rare chance to drop various things that you will want. So, for the most part, they're going to be disappointing, but they will have a rare chance to drop what you want. So, you just have to, you have to be aware of that. So, I would say, I would say they're all worth going for, but they are going to be disappointing most of the time. So, yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Um, uh, is there anything else that we've learned that I need to go over? Uh, I'm trying to think. Almost in the middle of this. Which is probably not a great idea. <laughs> um, oh, yes. We have learned that the, uh, the poison dagger actually acts pretty much the same as the... Uh, poison off the plague spawns, however, uh, the plague spawns, the way they work is they have a random chance to poison you, which is the same as the dagger, uh, however, uh, which way do I want to go here, uh, 
I guess I will go right. Oof. That's a bunch of enemies. Okay, well. Oh no, oh no. I just got trapped. And poisoned. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna use a, a tactic that I have not yet showcased. <laughs> this is how things can go very, very badly. I got kind of pinned into a corner there. And I didn't, uh. I didn't think I could actually get out of there, and then, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe I killed one enemy and I did get out of there. Uh, wait, are the enemies not following me? Oh no, they're following me, okay. I was like, uh, are they not following me anymore? But I, I also want to test this out. I'm not sure if this will work, but I want to see if there is a trick similar to something we use in LDOE. Uh, and in LDOE we call it the elevator trick, because there's an elevator for the bunker, uh, and you just, uh, you go and fight an enemy, and, or you kill an enemy, and, like, it'll be in a group, and as long as you don't touch any of the enemies in the other, uh, in the group, then they will not, uh, aggro onto you when you, uh, go back in. So, I kind of want to test that out, um... But what was I saying about the poison dagger before? Uh, oh, yes. I was saying that uh, it has a random chance to poison. Uh, we don't know exactly what that percentage chance is. At least not just yet. Uh, however, what we do know is that unlike the poison for um, the plague spawns, which does five damage every every time it goes off, and it goes off for six times per uh, per stack of poison they've inflicted upon you, uh, which does 30 damage total, obviously. Uh, unlike that, the Poison Dagger actually does 10 damage every time it goes off. Uh, and it also uh, goes off 6 times per stack that it inflicts upon you. So, what that means is that, essentially, once you've poisoned the enemy with the Poison Dagger, you have done... You have done, like, 60 damage with one uh with one proc of poison so it's a pretty significant amount it's it's pretty nice actually so yeah if you get poisoned you you might as well pop like a berry juice because it, it's gonna do 30 damage to you anyway um so for here let me change back to this Go to the Bastard Sword, do that, and I will put the mace on this. And this is actually another uh, tactic that we've learned uh, with the Forsaken. They take about five hits from a Bastard Sword or a Scimitar, and then the last hit is kind of a waste, really. So you want to kind of finish them off with a uh, with a, like a normal mace weapon, essentially. However, ow, get crap! I got stuck in a corner again. I really don't like these narrow, uh, narrow confinement. Uh, I really have a tendency to get stuck on things. Ugh, I also really don't like that you get stuck in attack animations now. That's that's just ah, it's brutal. I hate it. it drives me nuts. So we'll go ahead and equip that, and uh, I'll change it with that. But uh, yeah, the the poison dagger is—it's actually just about one of the best weapons in the game. You might not think of it that way when you look at the damage uh, per hit that it does, because it's just you know 19 damage like a normal dagger. But it really is one of the best weapons in the game. If you get a poison dagger, <laughs> this is my crypt now. Uh, if you get a poison dagger, uh, you can you can essentially use that to kill the gatekeeper in like 
a minute if you get lucky with procs uh, of poison. I mean, it's it's ludicrous how fast you can melt enemies with a poison dagger now. So, a poison dagger may end up being the weapon of choice for doing a lot of, like, fights against a gatekeeper or a templar or, or, or something like that. Uh, and of course the poison damage ignores armor, so any any enemy that they add to the game, which uh, has a lot of armor, is also going to be, uh, you know, a prime target for the, uh, for the poison dagger. Stop getting stuck on stuff. A lot of you might be wondering, well, how the hell are you constantly getting stuck on stuff? And the thing is, I play this game mostly just... I, I navigate almost purely by the minimap. And unfortunately, objects like little benches and broken things and whatnot, they don't appear on the minimap. <laughs> so, if it doesn't appear on the minimap, I don't even see it while I'm running around. So, it's, uh, it's a little... it causes a little bit of an issue for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it just, it, it causes problems for me. Um, but yeah, it's, that, that's why I'm constantly getting stuck on stuff. I just, I'm navigating purely based on the minimap. That's what I look at like 90% of the time. So, uh, <laughs> if you're wondering how I get stuck on stuff all the time, that's how. Oh man, there's a Forsaken in there too? Jesus. I'll go ahead and use. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, well that was kind of unnecessary. Wow. Okay, so if you can sneak attack him, it just takes uh, two attacks from a halberd. <laughs> okay, that was an odd little glitch. I got I got stuck in some of the some of the stuff down there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not happy with. Uh, all the trash that they put down here, it's kind of, uh, it gets in the way and it's really, really annoying. Um, but, you know, I suppose that's part of the difficulty of the dungeon. So here we have our second chest. I doubt I'll get any, I mean, I, I have pretty bad luck, usually in most games with drop rates and stuff, so, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything rare out of that. Especially since it's a rare chance. We don't know exactly what the uh, percent of chances are, but uh, I suppose I'll go over I'll go over that in uh, in this video as well. Um, basically, why I decided to do all of this, why I decided to upload these videos to YouTube and kind of make a series out of this, uh, especially considering is that oh yeah, that's another chest in there. Okay, well we will. Uh, lure these guys out one at a time uh, but basically why I've decided to do this kind of as a series so to speak is I was planning to record all of my dungeon runs anyway uh, because I'm I'm really into doing data collection for uh, various things uh, on discord I, I look into things like you know how much, what are the stats of the enemies, what are their chances to drop stuff, what is the best way of, that you would go about fighting them, uh, all, all of that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to min-max a little bit. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't go overboard with min-maxing, but, uh, I do min-max a little bit. You kind of have to with survival games because, you know, if you're not efficient with your resources, then, uh, well, you're just not having a good time, and you're probably not surviving as much as you should. <laughs> you know? But yeah, I was already going to record all of this stuff so I could collect the data, because um, it just makes it a lot easier if I can just play the way I would normally play, and then look at the, the video later so I can count the number of enemies, what they dropped, you know, what dropped in all of the loot chests, all of that stuff, so I don't have to do that whilst I am fighting stuff. Um... So, okay, so yeah, this is, this is a, a, I guess we're calling this a U room, because uh, it's kind of shaped like a U, a very fat U, but a U nonetheless, um, and uh, it, it appears that all of those are pretty much dead ends, 
So anytime you see a room like that after opening a door, it's kind of a dead end. Um, a lot of people are debating whether or not it's even worth uh, fighting most of the enemies. A lot of people are saying it's probably best to just go ahead and, you know, clear your way to the main loot cache. And then once you find that, just leave. And, I mean, that's, that's all good and well. But if you don't know what direction you have to go to get to said loot cache, then you kind of have to full clear until you find that loot cache. So that's that's kind of... It, it just feels like a very odd thing to say that you just, you just need to clear your way to the loot cache even though it's a randomized dungeon, so we have no idea where the loot cache actually is until you find it. Uh, some people are saying that uh, the desecrators are kind of like placed in such a way that they're always in your way on the to the to the main loot cache. They're always going to be in the way. So if you see a desecrator, I guess the idea is that you're probably going the right way. Um I guess that kind of that kind of falls in line with uh, what was going on in our our first uh, attempt in the dungeon, but uh, I don't know if that's really an absolute rule. Ooh, I almost died there. I went I went up to attack him without realizing that I didn't have a lot of. Uh, oh wow! And that broke already. That's unfortunate. Do 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 do. All right, give me another bastard sword and that, and I would prefer to have healing with more than one stack. And hopefully this finishes him. Yes, good. Oh, hey, you dropped me sulfur too. Oh, and I didn't notice this little uh, thing here. Something is forcing us to kill one another. That might be your plague god. <laughs> that might be your plague god. Just saying, guys. Just saying. And it appears I didn't bring enough armor for this. I really thought that I would have had enough armor. But yeah, I've still got three weapons on standby. And this one is only partially broken. So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really not liking the Bastard Sword. Uh, it, 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 you get stuck in the attack animation for so long. Uh, so I kind of, uh, I kind of honestly want to waste all my bastard swords. Uh, we were kind of saving them before because with stutter step, the attack speed really didn't matter, and uh, I was just checking if there were any supplies in there that I didn't grab that I could actually use, like bandages. Um, but yeah, we were, we were able to just, you know, use stutter step to negate the uh, the slow uh, recovery speed from the animation. Uh, but unfortunately, stutter step is just so weird now. It's it's so timing based that the slow weapons are actually kind of difficult to perform stutter step with now. That I really don't I don't I don't like using stutter step with slow weapons anymore. Uh, and even the fast ones, to a certain extent, are are still not really very good. Um, to use, so it's kind of eh. I'm I'm not a I'm not a fan. Uh, and actually, we'll go ahead and switch to the leaks now. So what do we have in here? We have more possessed. Uh, ow, God damn it! And now that's gonna aggro like a whole bunch of them. It really sucks. I've heard that we might be able to use the uh, the auto bug that they introduced into uh, Last Day on Earth not that long ago, um, and it kind of almost seems like that might be possible, but at the same time, not because it's uh, it seems like it actually goes a little too fast, really. Um, it really seems like... Oof, that's... That's not good. 
Um, but it really seems almost like it just goes too fast, and you don't actually get your damage off uh, if you if you try to use that bug. Uh, which, if you don't know, by the way, the the bug is simply uh, alternating button presses very quickly between auto and the actual attack button. Um, that's that's the gist of what it is, and it allows you to attack very very quickly. At least in LDOE. Um, here, it's kind of Eh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We still gotta, we still gotta do a lot of practice with some of the the new mechanics uh, or the altered mechanics now uh, before we really get a handle on the best way to do dungeons and all of this. Ah, crap! I didn't see that Forsaken until the last second. Okay, so... There should be enough space. So I am going to switch to you and you. Woo! He caught up pretty quick. Yep. Ow, ow, ow. He hurts. He hurts so much. Nice, now finish him off with Halberd. That works. It's not necessarily the way I would want to do it, but it works. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wait, no, 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 I want, want the mace equipped, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately I'm pretty much out of armor here. So I'm gonna have to... Make a run up and grab some armor. Actually, I don't think I stashed any extra armor at the top, did I? I don't think so. Well, anyways, I'll go ahead and take a look at this loot chest. Maybe I'll get something rare. Then I'll go ahead and call this an episode. Eh, I got some better tinctures. Those are at least useful, so I'll take those right off the bat. Um, yeah. I will go ahead and uh, end the episode off here, guys. And when I see you next, we will resume from this very spot. Till then, guys, take care.